Hi, this is Henry from techlinks.com. Uh, today I am going to tell you about uh, how to set up a backup power supply system for your servers or for your home appliances. Uh, the power supply system which I am going to speak about uh, is from the company called APC, American Power Corporation. Uh, and the model number is called as APC's BAL UPS. BAL is nothing but a business and business appliance and lighting UPS and the model number is BI100i. The capacity of the UPS is 1000 VA. It means that uh, it comes almost around 660 watts and uh, the UPS box uh, has a load chart that suggests that for 1000 VA you can connect up to 6 fans and 5 tube lights in case if you want to connect to television then in that case you can have only 5 fans and 5 tube lights. The UPS can serve inductive loads for example fluorescent lamps, ceiling and table fans and it can also resist, uh, handle the resistive loads such as uh, incandescent lamps and switch mode power supply SMPS loads. The UPS system is shipped with two lead connectors. Uh, one is called as the female connector, I mean the, this one, the female connector. And there is the other connector called male connector which comes with black and red wires and there is a socket which will be connected to the UPS system. So let me tell you how to use these lead connectors. The lead connector, the female connector is actually used to sort the batteries. For example, if you have two batteries, one side of the connector is uh, connected to the positive terminal of one battery and other one is connected to the negative terminal of the second battery. I will show you that. You can see that I have used the connector which connects to the negative terminal of the first battery and the other end is connected to the positive terminal of the second battery. So this is for actually sorting the batteries and the male connector is actually used for connecting the two batteries to the UPS system. So the red cable as I told it will be connecting to the positive terminal of one battery and the black cable is connected to the negative terminal of the second battery and the socket actually it will connect to the UPS system. The front side of the UPS has various indicators which will help you to identify whether uh, what kind of load has been extracted from the UPS. The first one uh, which I have pointing out is the inverter load. There are five indicators that is going to tell you how much load that has been uh, put on the inverter. You can't find it now actually the UPS is running on the main so these indicators will be uh, will not be visible. So let me switch off the main so that you can find out how much load has been extracted. Now the load from 25% to 50% of load has been put on the inverter. The next button is actually uh, tells that whether you want to enable or disable the inverter. So I have enabled the inverter, it means that uh, whenever the main goes off, uh, my backup power, sy power system will take over and uh, you can do a self test with the help of the next button. And there are other indicators, if the inverter is disabled, uh, you can find uh, this LED is glowing. And the UPS system has a very good uh, lighting mechanisms, like it uses green light and uh, yellow light. The green light indicates that uh, uh, the main is on. And when the battery is switched on, you can find an yellow light will be glowing on this. For example, let me show you when it goes to this. Okay, it's not yellow exactly, it is an orange light. And there is the last indicator which uh, says there is a fault in the system. Let me explain about the controls uh, that is available in this UPS. Uh, this UPS consists of holiday mode switch which is called as uh, away or home and there is a test or mute switch uh, and as well as a rear panel has a push to reset circuit breaker. Uh, to talk about uh, away or home uh, is also known as a holiday mode switch. In home position uh, this two position rocker switch sets the UPS so that it will switch to battery output when there is a utility power outage. In the away position the UPS goes into standby mode and will not switch to battery power in the event of power outage. This is to conserve the batteries. However, in this position, the UPS will charge the batteries 
until the utility power failure occurs. In test mode, when mains LED is switched on, on pressing this button, the unit will do self-test to determine the state of the system. During on battery self-test, it will also show the load status which can be used to find, find out the load capacity. In mute position, push it for 5 seconds. You have to push this button for 5 seconds. Uh, this push button uh, switch uh, silence the load battery buzzer. So you will not get that buzzer when uh, it switches between the main and the battery. The one is for the input uh, power cord and the output power cord and uh, the battery connector which I was explaining a few minutes back. Uh, the first one uh, you can find that this comes from the main. This socket is comes from the main and the output that you are going to extract from the UPS will be connected uh, on the other socket. So these are the three sockets that is available at the back side of the UPS. This UPS system has been connected with two external batteries. So this is an 100 ampere battery and I have two batteries and regarding the placement of the UPS system uh, please ensure that the area where the unit is to be placed is not directly exposed to the sunlight because the surface may become heat and it might damage the system and you will have to ensure that you place it in the dry area it means that you are away from source of liquids and make sure you have enough space between the battery and the UPS I have at least 15 centimeter of the space so that you will have a few space for connecting the wire so this is the overall view of my UPS system and the battery connections this UPS serves at least 5 hours of backup for me for connecting around 4 to 5 PCs not servers really um, so in case if you want to connect the servers I guess it should come around 2 hours per server and for home appliances you can have 5 fans and 1 television and 5 tube lights that can be connected the cost of the UPS is 7500 since it's an APC branded one and each battery costs around 5